quite the adventure yesterday here in Molagmar. Between diffusing tension amongst the buoyant armagers and the Ashlanders, eradicating the glass mine of the dragon infestation, and not to mention killing off the not so ruddy man, this visit was far from boring, to say the least. During the evening, I took a moment to chat up a few of the armagers in the inn, and confirmed that the tower belonging to Barazar, their clockwork mage, was straight east of the canton. I am almost certain that if I searched nearby that Dwimmer ruin, that I would find the tower with haste. Here is the camp from yesterday, so I know that the Trimmer Ruin is just around this bend. Hmm, there on that island across the water, I can see what looks to be some form of structure behind those trees. I think I'll go have a closer look. Might be just what I'm looking for. Perhaps the next time I'm in Shadowfin, I should get a pair of boots that are fashioned out of croc skin. That should help with the sogginess. Yes, here we are. Let's see. Dwemer gadgets and cogs scattered about the place. I do believe I've found our clockwork mage. There seems to be some sort of mage carved on this door. <laughs> I wonder if it's Balzar. Be a bit into himself. It sounds like some sort of machinery running in the next room. Would you look at this peculiar set of contraptions? I will not begin to pretend that I have extensive knowledge around contraptions such as these. Never really understood the Dwemer machinery but I find their ilk fascinating. Always that bronzy brass color as well. Hmm, I wonder what this crystal is for. I see our mage toiling away at something over there. <clears throat> Pardon me, you wouldn't happen to be Balzar. Oh, such displeasure and disappointment. Nothing works even though every calculation is precise. How an interruption. How infuriating. Wait, wait. Sometimes the great gear turns from frustration to opportunity. Please forgive my interruption. I was told that I could find you here and had a query for you. Do you have any knowledge about divine energy? Divine energy? I'll have you know I participated in Lord Sotha Seal's nine analyses of the exalted enigmas. But we have more important matters. I'm about to determine the correlation between color and time, but I could use another set of hands. Correlation between color and time? How intriguing. If I lend you my aid in finishing your research, will you be willing to answer my questions? A reciprocal exchange? Interesting, yes. I can see the benefits of such an arrangement. Very well. Just activate the crystals in the proper sequence while I modulate the energy flow. Less chance of an explosion that way. Very well. I'll do my best to determine the proper sequence. I take no responsibility for explosions, though. Hmm. How in the blazes am I to know this sequence? Got to be something to do with the colors. No. Perhaps they're positioning. No, wait. Perhaps it's something to do with the shapes of the crystals. Not one is similar to the other, each one having more and more of a complexity to their shape. Yes, that's it. Let me start with the spherical shape here. A good start. Keep going. Whew, no explosions. Okay, next would be this tetrahedron over here. Correct. So far, so good. Hmm, right. Let's see. Between the square and the diamond, 
I would have to say the square is of less complexity. Like clockwork you are. Alright, now the diamond, as the hexagonal shape is of greatest complexity out of all of these. Very close. One more to go. Alright, time for the final crystal. I swear, this better not blow up in my face, Belzar. Yes, I love it when the gears align. The fact that's bright. There, your crystal is lit. Perfect. Such are the benefits of an extra set of appendages. The energy flows freely and without disruption, allowing the rods and the pistons to align in a most pleasing manner. <laughs> Thank you. Now, why do you want to know about divine energy? I was actually sent here from Vivek City. There was an inquiry around divine energy, specifically around transference. Sent? How intriguing. I was just thinking about my former master, Sir Basile, and the experiments we conducted. He desperately sought to understand the power he and his companions attained, especially whether or not that power was temporary. And did Lord Sothasil ever come about a conclusion to his research? Not while I assisted him. He had a tool that he used to drain away minute bits of his own divine energy to store and study. He could extract it and return it as he saw fit. Not sure what became of the tool. But here are my notes from those days. Oh, excellent. These notes should prove to be quite helpful. If you have a moment further... More questions? Well, Lord Sotha Seal attributed curiosity to intellectual superiority. Suppose I should do the same. Ask, and I will attempt to tighten the cogs of your ongoing education as best I can. I am intrigued by the tool you mentioned, of Lord Sotha Seal's. Is it by any chance a weapon of sorts? Odd question. Is a hammer a weapon? A saw? A Dwemer spring spanner? No, it was just a tool. A device crafted by Sotha Seal to aid in his endless experiments. I suppose I could imagine ways to modify the device, but for what reason? Hmm. Interesting perspective. I guess it's just a matter of its wielder's intentions. Do, do you need to speak with him? No? Alright. You said you're not sure what became of the tool. You have no ideas at all about its whereabouts. Haven't a clue. Tools have a way of wandering off when you don't stay vigilant. I had a guar that used to swallow tools when I wasn't looking. Glowed for a month until the enchantment dissipated and the tool passed. I should have heard the screams. That sounds... disgusting. So, you worked with Sotha Seal? I was his apprentice, but that was years ago. Spent time working in the Clockwork City. That's what I learned about energy transference, Dwemer engineering, mechanical symmetry. Made me the dark elf I am today. But I have a question. Who sent you? You have been to Clockwork City. Remarkable. Certainly a place I intend to visit one day, if the chance arises. It was Archcanon Tarvis that sent me, on behest of Lord Vivek. The Archcanon? Lord Vivek's high priest? Suddenly the gears aligned. I can think of a number of reasons that Alm and V would want to know about C and his tools, but some doors just shouldn't be opened. Reasons I'm sure you're not willing to share. Well, I must be going. I thank you for the notes you've provided from your research and all your information. I wish you good luck with your current experiments here. Oh, excuse me. It's no wonder why Belzar gets so frustrated. He seems to have a lot of adventurers swinging by. Right, that's our Clockwork Mage. The other two locations Archcan and Tarvis mentioned was Balmora and Aldrun, but I haven't the faintest idea where these locations lie. Perhaps if I return to Lolagmar, I might find a map that I can reference.
Damned rock. I am truly fascinated that Belzar has not only met Sotha Sil face to face, but also worked closely with him for some of his research, from within Clockwork City, mind you. I remember daydreaming about the city as a child. It seemed like a magical fantasy. The city's location is known only to a few, and is said to be the size of a good-sized niche, which is remarkable. Even if someone was to happen upon the city itself, they would have to be shrunken down in order to gain entrance to the city within the glass dome. It is one marvel that I am determined to witness with my own eyes. Perhaps Lord Vivek might be able to grant me my wish after helping with his conundrum. Let me try one of the bookcases. Might find a book with maps of Vardenfell. Hmm, there are some books over there next to the stairs. Ah yes, here we are. Maps of Vardenfell, Volume 6. Now, let's see. Here is Balmora, which seems to be located just north of Seydanine. It will be a bit of a travel, but could give me a chance to ponder along the roads. Actually, I think I'll avoid running poor Serene halfway across Vardenfell, and instead check with the Silt Strider handler here in Molag Mar. Perhaps the Strider will be able to get me to Balmora with ease. Good day. I would like to book passage on your silt strata to Balmora. Of course. It may take some time, but this beast will get you there in both style and comfort for only 20 gold pieces. Very good. Here is your gold. I am ready to depart. My, that was highly convenient. Here we are, Balmora, a prosperous city and seat to House Redoran. As was described, the city at first glance is similar to the style of House Halalu, which I believe may have been due to an agreement between the two great houses. I wouldn't doubt if House Halalu funded a greater portion of its construction. There are also two ebony mines, quite large and overflowing with ore, which has the city flooding with miners from all over Tamriel.
Archcan and Tavos mentioned that it would be here in Balmora that we would learn more about the second vision of the divine ritual we performed, specifically around the presence of Daedric cultists. If I start walking about and asking too many questions, I might cause them to slink away undetected, so I must be discreet. Hmm. This flyer looks rather peculiar. Some sort of proclamation by House Redoran. By order of the House Guard and the Redoran High Council, the Shulk Ore Mine is closed and all operations toward reopening the mine have been suspended. Workers should stay away until further notice, and visitors are strongly cautioned to avoid the area on pain of fine or imprisonment, or both. This includes you, Crew Chief Hondolf. Note that every effort shall be made to locate the missing mine workers as soon as possible. That doesn't sound good. Missing mine workers. Wonder what might have become of them. Or rather, if the cultists got to them. They explicitly call out this crew chief Hundle. I bet they are in a right foul mood. And might let a bit of information slip about the happenings around here. I should keep an eye out for him. I wonder if I could find any information down at the docks. Those who ferry in cargo have a tendency to soak up information from dock workers and passengers alike. to get out of here those cultists they're insane all right but keep your voice down i'll be ready to leave soon enough in the meantime if anyone asks you're just here to haul cargo that khajiit seems to know something about these cultists although he isn't being very discreet about it perhaps if i prod Psst. excuse me but i have a word what who this one is just here to haul cargo! Hmm, yes. And also flee from some cultists. I heard you from up above. Relax, no need to panic. I am not a cultist. I am here to help if I am able. What do you know? Cultists? This one said nothing about cultists. Perhaps you are thinking of another Khajiit. <laughs> Look, Renak who just wants to leave all these crazy dark elves behind and find a safer mine to work in. Shulk or my disgust. Look, you have nothing to fear from me. I might be able to do something about these cultists, but you must cooperate with me and tell me what you know. Really? You? Just leave Renaku out of it. If you want to know what happened so badly, just go out to the Shulk or mine and see for yourself. <sighs> I understand that he is probably frightened to the bone. I just wish I could have gotten something from him. I wonder just what is going on in that mine that has the city on edge. Perhaps I should try to actively find this Hondolf. If I was a disgruntled Nord, I would be drowning my anger with mead at the inn. So let's try there. Who knows? Perhaps by the Three's grace I will be lucky. Oh, they're playing my favorite song. Right. Might want to ask one of the barmaidens if they know where Hondolf is. Greetings, barmaiden. I love seeing new faces. For a while, it was just the same old miners and the occasional traveling merchant. Thought Carillon might have to shut this place down. Look at me talking your ears off. What can I get you? I thought this establishment looked a bit sparse. Figured with a city as large as Balmora, the patrons would be shoulder to shoulder. Why do you think this is so? At first, I assumed it was the usual house squabbles. 
Redrin and Halalu arguments can get pretty heated. Then I thought maybe the Ashlanders were scaring people off, but after that proclamation... No, I'd rather not talk about that with a stranger. I have had a long and tiresome journey, and could go for a tall glass of water. Would 22 gold pieces be enough to cover the trouble? I like the color of your gold, Outlander. Just between us, I heard the house guard shut down the Shulk Ore Mine. Something to do with violent cultists who attacked the miners and took over the place. Even got the crew chief, or so I heard. That seems to be the common theme I have gathered from around the town. Tis a shame. I came in here to find the crew chief, but you have proven to be just as much help, if not more. So you have my thanks, Barmaiden. Well, I guess I should take the advice of the Khajiit and head down to the Shokor Mine and see what I can find out for myself. Let's see if I can't find the mine. I'd wager it's somewhere near the outskirts of town. I am glad the Bar Maiden was able to confirm that there are certainly cultist activity happening right under the house guards' noses. I'm certain that has them frustrated. What in Nern is that adventurer doing? How strange. Ow! Stupid dog! What happened? Let me see. I just tried to pet it. Damn dog bit me. Leave it alone! There's something strange about that dog. Could have been worse. I was once bitten by a sewer rat beneath Daggerfall. The putrid smell from the wound still haunts my thoughts. Well, let's try this outcrop right here. Might just be the entrance to the mine we are looking for. He looks to be up to a bit of trouble. I bet I just found our crew chief. Admiring the view, crew chief. You shouldn't be here. Didn't you read the House Redoran proclamation? I wouldn't be here myself, but some of my miners are still in there. You sound as if you're about to jump out of your breeches. Bit uncharacteristic of a Nord. What happened in there? Our mine? was invaded by violent cultists. They showed up and, uh, and just took the place over. My people are trapped. I'm no expert, but it looked like the cultists were preparing to conduct a ritual before the Ashlander interrupted them. Wait, an Ashlander, you say? Why would an Ashlander venture into a mine controlled by one of the great houses? Well, I, I never actually saw an Ashlander, but I heard a cultist yell, Ashlander thief! That's our mystical weapon! That's not an exact quote, but you get the idea. I don't know what happened after that. I was kind of busy trying not to die. Intriguing. And I assume you didn't get a great look at what was going on inside prior to the Ashlander's interference? What makes you think it was a ritual? Probably because I heard one of them say, with this ritual, we'll call forth a mystical weapon and attain the power of a god. Or something along those lines. Look, I was just trying to get me and my miners out of there when the Ashlander showed up. Oh, forgive me. I pass no judgment. You were trying to do right by your mining crew. I'll just pop inside and have a look around at these cultists, and try to get a gathering on what is going on. Really? That's awfully brave of you. If you see any of my miners, tell them to get their arses out here. I'll wait as long as I can. Or until I hear screaming. Then I'll go to Balmora and try to find some help. Good luck in there. I will help out whoever I come across. Keep out of sight, Hondulf. Just in case any cultists emerge.
simply tragic. Hondolf may have had his details of the attack all muddled, but he got the aggressive part correctly. This miner looks to have been stabbed with one clean puncture of a dagger. There. Two cultists over a fresh murder. Time to pay them back. Very similar wound inflicted on this miner as well. I only hope it was a quick death. some sort of scroll here on the ground. My Red Exiles, I need you to infiltrate the mine outside Balmora and recover an item of great importance to our venerated cause and to the elevation of Ashlanders everywhere. Currently, this item resides in the possession of the Nicotic Cult, who plan to conduct a ritual in the mine to grant the item the ability to channel unfathomable power. Let the cultists begin the process, but acquire the item before they complete the ritual. The item lies in one of the deep chambers of the mine, most likely heavily guarded. Sneak in and steal the item. It has the appearance of a staff made of metal and gears. It is necessary to advance to the next stage of our cherished cause. Get the staff and bring it to me, and you will be one step closer to ending your exile and returning to the fold. CC. A staff made of gears and metal almost sounds like it could be the tool Berazar had mentioned so the seal using. wonder if it is one and the same. Hey, you there. Are you alright? You don't look like one of those crazy cultists, and you certainly aren't one of our miners. So by Vivek's holy nose hairs, who in oblivion are you? Vivek's holy nose hairs. That's good. By happenstance, I was sent out to Belmora by Lord Vivek to learn more of these cultist plans. Really? Then forget I said anything about his holiness nasal preening. They're some sort of Daedric cultists. They've been performing rituals. Calling forth divine power, some such nonsense. At least they were, before the Ashlanders showed up. Crew Chief Hondolf mentioned the arrival of some Ashlanders. Whereabouts did they go? The savages barged into the deep chambers. Seemed to know about the hidden passage and everything. Stole the relic the cultists were praying over and ran for the hills. As a matter of fact, that's where I'm going, as soon as it's safe to leave. The way is clear. You should be able to leave now. You do not want to get on my bad side, trust me. Hmm. These rocks here seem to not naturally sit as if they were part of the cavern. I wonder if I... Ah, there we go. Here is one of the Ashlanders now. Similar garb to that which Oval wore. Looks like this one was stabbed in the back. A bit less of a clean strike. Probably while being chased by the cultists. Two more stand guard between me and the inner chamber. Let's go ahead and fix that. That cultist there looks particularly nasty, and she looks to be summoning something. Best me quick work of her. More thieves! Stop them!
Can't stand these Daedric cultists and the damned use of flames. There seems to be some sort of ritual curios up on top of that formation. Wonder just what's inside. Hmm, this dagger might come in handy. Seems a bit more balanced than one of my iron blades. Oh yes, all sorts of strange incense, candles, a guar's heart. One that's been in there for quite some time. I'd better take this bag along with me. There, now let me find a way out of here. Perhaps that opening. Ah, damned troll knocked the bridge out. I guess I'm gonna have to go around through the water. Wonder if Hondel thought me dead and sent in another. He is a shaky one. No matter. I'll let him know that I found one of his miners still alive. Did you find what you were looking for in the mine? To be honest, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to find inside. I did find a bag of cultist curios, but the cultists inside have all left to join the Daedric Lords. By force, of course. Of course. I perfectly understand. Uh, I think I'll wait a little longer and see if any of my miners were able to escape from the cultists. Good luck with your mission. Whatever it is. Thank you, Hondolf. I did come across one of your miners, Dirin. Her intentions were very clear that she would be heading out as soon as it was safe. I'm certain she will emerge soon. There. That's some information on the cultist activity here in Balmora. Quite the conundrum. Cultists skulking about, performing rituals, then having their tools stolen right beneath their noses by the Ashlanders. That just leaves Aldrin which I'm certain I could find more information about in Balmora.